this is just a video on how uh, on how photofold lamps work. What they do is they take a filament. In the case of a 120 volt uh, photofold lamp like this, the 250 watt ECA, and they take a filament that would be good for about 60 volts, and they run it at 120 volts, which is double its operating potential. Because a while back, um, 67TR876 posted a video on how 120 volt lamps uh, didn't immediately burn out on 240 volts. And this is why, because you can see this is a little 55 volt to 60 volt um, 5 watt uh, S14 lamp there, and you can see that runs normally on the uh, potential having auto transformer. In this application, it takes the 120 volts and steps it down to 60 volts. It was originally for, I think, 100 and for stepping down 220 volts to 110 volts, but in this application, I'm just using it as a 60 volt supply for this demonstration. You can see this um, little lamp runs normally, and you can see this uh, ECA. It runs at the color temperature you'd expect from a uh, incandescent lamp like this. Probably it appears to be. It's not going to show up on camera very good, but it appears to be about 4,500 rankine, which is what you'd expect from a little vacuum lamp like this, which is rather about the same. When normally this is um, a 5,760 uh, Rankine lamp. Uh, what Rankine is, is it's like the Kelvin scale, except instead of using a centigrade size degree, it uses a Fahrenheit size degree. Very easy to convert Kelvin to Rankine, you just multiply it by 1.8, which is what I'm doing. But, so that is how a photofold lamp works, is that you can see you take this and run it on 60 volts and it appears to be just like a regular GLS, GLS lamp except it's only about 90 about 90 watts to yeah, about 95 watts roughly you can see it's operating current of 1.58 amperes nope my um, very safe current measure current measuring mechanism there is just a probe stuck in a couple of fast on terminals and this uh, adapter I made a while, a couple of years ago, for a t for um, experimenting on having a choke in series with a compact fluorescent lamp to see if it wouldn't scream bloody murder running on inverter electricity. The lamp didn't, but the uh, uh, choke did, and I was using the primary of a microwave oven transformer, so there's also a bit of an electrocution hazard from the secondary there. But that's the subject for another video. So, that's how photofold lamps work. It's just a little, oh, and this is just a little lamp adapter thing which I made uh, last year for a uh, current uh, demonstration. It, it was exactly the same thing as that video I, of that compact fluorescent uh, surge current video I posted a few days ago. So you cannot easily get these in stores. And these little switches, which you normally can't get in uh, yellow and blue, those I got from Jameco, but they no longer stock them, so... If you're from Jamco and you can get more of these, get more of these because they're cool and you don't often find these. So that's it.